Do you know what's funny though? That you, like, anyone, any of you guys, you know you guys are like one trick Talia's, some of you guys are one trick Ori's, one trick Syndra's, I will beat you on your one trick, and I don't play your champion. I, I, I can, I can have never played your champion before, and I can still beat you in a 1v1. Facts. And should I, tell you, should I tell you how I know that? Because I prove it every week on 1v1 Sunday. Every single week I prove it. Proved it yesterday. Did like 20 1v1s. But he lost to Night Blue 3 on Yas. Man, fuck off, dude. Stop saying that. <laughs> Listen, I literally... Whatever, man. Where's Night Blue at? Let me find this dude. I'm gonna find this dude. I swear to God, I'm gonna find... Like, I'm, do I'm done with this kid shit. Like, I'm, I ain't gonna find him. I'm gonna find him in the streets. I know where he lives. Like, I know... He lives around me somewhere. I'm gonna find him. We're gonna have a little talk, you know? Nah. I need a one re one v one though, donated where two I dollars. try. It's showtime! Kiana or Akali this game? We already have AP jungle. It's looking like we're getting an AP support. I don't think we want to stack up too much on AP. You know, but at the same time, you already know what the fuck going on. I entered, I entered, I entered. I'm so fucking tilted. Whatever, it still works out really well. I stall out a lot and they kill people, but I fucking didn't need to die if I played it better. Would you have picked Pokey if she was one of the girls? As I believe Raj said she wanted to, but was too late. Um, I don't know if Pokey would go on the Rajler, not gonna lie. I don't think she would try to compete for my love versus other girls, but um, uh, would I pick Pokey? Probably not, because I already have Pokey's love. That was a good line. Good shit, Mo. Wow, I'm actually so sad. I'm fuming right now. I'm actually fuming. You can't, you can't see it, but I'm fuming. I'm so confused. I'm legitimately just lost, man. Tell me why I'm invisible. I'll stop. I'll stop. Hitting nearby monsters or enemy champions with javelin toss, javelin toss, or bushwhack, bushwhack marks them as hunted, revealing them for four seconds, etc. Q and W reveal. Okay, well, that's good to know because I didn't know that. Oh, I got a kill. We take those. Carried my team once again. Got the game, got the kill winning, the game winning kill. I'm gonna take this lane. Oh, let me explain my rune page for you guys. Fleet footwork, not conquer. I'm against LeBlanc. I can't fight her as well. She's not, she's a ranged champion. It's hard for me to jump onto her. She's very de de deceiving. I want fleet so I can sustain lane. Triumph, because it's better than everything else. I can take alacrity or, Merc or tenacity, but the thing is, I don't really need tenacity that bad. All I need is an alacrity, because what tenacity do they have? They have hard CC. If they pick jungle, at least maybe tenacity would be better. And then I can rush for Merc Treads with Zen's PD, or Merc Treads with Zen's Shiv, something like that. But it depends on the last jungle pick. Second tree, I always go this every single game. Taste the blood, and I take uh, Ravenous Hunter, because the healing is so insane. I'm gonna take attack speed, and I might take, I'm probably gonna take double MR. Ooh. See, now this is where you get in a pickle. Because you either take Alacrity, or you go for Tenacity. But I can Windwall every single CC they have besides Jax. I can Windwall all of their CC besides Jax. I think it might be the move though to take Tenacity, and then rush Greaves Wits End. Might be the move. I think that's the move. Tenacity, Greaves Wits End. I'm not gonna go Merc Treads. I might, but I think I'm gonna go Greaves Wits End because they have, look at how AP heavy their team is. Just look at that. Top lane, Jax, AD, but mixed damage. Jungle, AP Sejuani. Mid, AP LeBlanc. ADC Varus, a little mixed damage with some AP there. And then on support, Karma, full AP, you know? I appreciate it. 
auto me? That's good. The way she autos me is good. And let me explain why it's good. Because she didn't auto me behind her minions. She came up to me right here. If she's walking past this midpoint to auto me, it's good for me. Because look at this. Look at my minions. You see my minions? Look at these little guys. Look at her HP bar. My minions hurt her when she walks into my minion to auto me. But when she autos me from her minions and walks away, I don't get minion aggro, so it's not worth it. Now I need to watch out because she's level 2. That's okay. Fleet, again, best rune for Yasuo. Depends on the matchup. Fleet's really good into lanes that either bully you or where you can't really proc Conquer. But Conquer is still very, very strong. It's just not. It's situational. That's all. But I, don't, I actually don't think Fleet can sustain. The auto attack's good, though. That, that change shouldn't have hit! He dies here, and I live. Almost. I'm so sad. Never mind, he's sad. Ha! He knew what I was doing, but he, he was quick on his feet, but then he went, went back to try to hit Chain, and when he whiffed Chain, I knew I could get the kill. If you get killed as LeBlanc in lane, you're fucked, because LeBlanc should always win lane. That's like the whole point of picking LeBlanc is to win your lane. He can't poke me out anymore, so I really don't care if he pokes me. If he uses abilities on me, honestly, it might just be a good thing. The reason I ulted is I knew I'm not going to kill him there, but I ult him for poke. I just ult him to chunk him, but honestly, in hindsight, it's not worth it. It's usually worth it in most lanes to ult for poke. The reason it's not worth it there, though, is because it's a, it's a LeBlanc lane. Or not LeBlanc lane, it's a uh, LeBlanc that has Corrupting Pot and Biscuits. So she has like kind of infinite sustain. I just want to play it. He can't kill me no matter what. Unless he has flash, but we flash at the same time. Oh. That was a grief, man. My bad, I targeted the wrong one. Greed? It's not greedy. I know he can't kill me. He couldn't kill me 1v1. I literally stood still and BM'd too, and he couldn't kill me. She's trying to freeze. She's freezing those three minions, but it doesn't matter. LeBlanc's too fucked. She's down two levels, 30 CS. Game's over for her. She built Shiv. No point in building Greaves now, this game. The, the fact that I'm... Ah, now I'm trying to think. I'll tell you guys what's going through my head right now. So pretty much, I want Berserker Greave Rush for laning phase. But if I can get a full Shiv, you always get your item over the Greaves, right? Now, I want... I wanted Greaves early game, um, but now I'm considering Merc Treads. But the thing is, if I go Merc Treads, I'm gonna need another attack speed item. But I think it's worth it to go Merc Treads and then hold on to a dagger. So my next ideal recall is 1100 gold to get Merc Treads and a dagger, just so I can start capping Q cooldown. Because as Yasuo, you want to build as much attack speed as you can. My laners are my Watch out, watch out, guys, watch out. What's end mode? Nah, but I don't want to build that much MR. And I don't want to stop myself from getting IE. So I don't think I want to build that much magic resist. I'm, I think QSS, or... Er, We'll see where it goes, obviously, but at the moment, I think Merc Treads is enough MR and CC. Oh, I was aiming for the fucking Karma. I thought she would walk back. If I hit Sedge, though, I just insta the ult, actually. Whatever. So we still get three for one, but I, I ended. it. <laughs> only thing I can think about is Triforce here. Wit's End. Wit's End has to be it. Wit's End is the play, 100%, unfortunately. And not unfortunately, it just feels too defensive. And if I was going to go Wit's End, I would have rather had PD, because then I have PD, Wit's End, and I'm, like, so hard to kill. Like, I'm actually just so hard to kill. Merc Treads, too. Fleet. I'm actually just unkillable. we will probably try to chain me here. Oh, I don't think so. Good trade for me still. Oh god. Whatever. We take a one kill. I honestly didn't expect their fucking jacks to be there. Oh! Thank God, he, he w would back in. Oh. Can I kill Sedge? Without IE, it's kind of hard. Uh, 
Bastardo. Hey, you got him. If Jax is top and then Sedge is dead, isn't it? He's just mid 5 man. That Ash arrow is really good. Alright, now these three items. Dude, this, these three items are actually like some Exodia type shit. When you're against a comp like this with three items, Merc Treads, and like Tenacity, like, it's it's so like, so crazy. It's really, really crazy, I won't lie. What an Ash arrow. This Ash is a fucking sniper. This Ash is legitimately a sniper. What the hell? Poor LeBlanc. <laughs> I have to whatever, man. Yeah, you got healed by Lux. Congrats, Kappa. Yeah, no, I was healing, in case you're wondering why I heal so much. When you have Wit's End, you heal a lot when you're under, I think, below 50% HP. Or, or something like that. It heals you a lot, though. And then I also have Fleet Footwork, and I have Ravenous Hunter. So I just have, like, so much healing. I don't even have Conquer. 33. I think it, it might be 33% of your thing, or 33% HP. I think it's... Heal for 33% of the damage... The... Heal for this effect damage dealt increased 100% for melee champions. Yeah, no. Wow, 100%. So when I'm below half HP, all the damage my wits end does, I heal back. So if my wits does 60 damage in auto, which it was doing around there, I'm healing every auto attack 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 60. Qs are giving me 60, 60, 60 when, it, when you're below 50% HP. So when you're low HP, you just kind of can't die.